you are welcome to my channel mindset academy where we want to solve a problem involving development of a cone now if you look at the figure on the right hand side of the screen it is a cone that has been cut at different section and we are to reproduce that figure and draw development of that figure right now the first thing you do is for you to draw your horizontal line this way then the next thing is for you to draw your vertical line too this way where they meet is the center of that figure and uh, we are told that the diameter is given to be what 100 right so i'm going to measure half of 100 which will be the radius 50 right and i'll place it at this point here now mark towards the right and also towards the left that is making what 50 so i'll call this point to be point a and what point b right and the height is given to be 94 so I'll measure 94 from this point here upward from 0 to what to 94 and i'm going to draw that point here is called my point c and i'm going to join point a to c and point b to c right now this is what we have here now the next thing is um this section here this part here is at an angle of what 15 degree so I'll place it this way right we know like this is 30 when your t squares on your your set squares on your t square this way this inclines at is 30 so if I draw a line this way paint line first that is 30 degree but the question is telling us that what 15 degree so I am going to bisect it. If you remember how to bisect angle 15 degree, you place your compass at the given point where the two line meet, and you strike an arc this way, right? Where the arc cuts here, we'll call it A prime, and when it cuts here, we'll call it A prime prime. And when I come here, I'll strike an arc also. I'll place at A prime prime too. I'll strike another arc. So where they meet, I will not join it from this point, from the point A to this point here, right? I will draw a line that will pass through that point and meet A. You can see that? Then the next thing is, it is meeting at a height of what? 58. So I'm going to measure 58 from this point here, upward is 0. To what? 58. It's 50, 58 here. And I'll take my T square, that point, make me mark up this point here. Right? And I'll just take my meter rule, and I'm going to join from here to this point here. Right? And I'll draw the line to touch the center. Of the cone right and the next thing I'm going to do is from that center there at an angle of what 30 degree is touching this side here so if I place my set square on this this is 30 like I told you earlier I'll move it to that point and I'll draw the line from this point here 30 degree you can see that and I'm going to now complete the figure so this is what we have here so i have successfully reproduced the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen now the next thing i'll do is for me to to start developing right i should start what developing this given figure so at the base here I'll place my compass this way 
and I'll take you to point A where I can draw a semicircle faint line. So with the same radius, I'll place it at B. I'll mark on the semicircle. I'll place it at A. I'll mark on the semicircle. I'll place it at the center point. I'll mark this point and that point. Right? So I will now take my meter rule. I can now generate this point towards the center of it. 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 Right? So I can say this is zero, one, two, three, four, five, and what? Six. Is that okay? So I can choose any point where I want to take to start my development. Let me say this point here will be my what? My point C. So with the radius of um, C to B. Can you see that? I'll place it at C here and I'll draw an arc this way. You can see that now drawing the arc from C to B. I will not take any given radius from this part here, either from zero to one or from one to two, any of it. And I'll place it at any given distance. Let me pick a distance on this. Let me say I am starting from C to this point here. So I'm starting from here. Right? So let me say this is my point zero. And I'll start marking. So from point zero, the next point will be one. Two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Right? So we have zero, one, Two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. You can see that. Let me take it up a little bit. So one word zero. So from this point, I'll start joining each of those points to touch the center C. What I'm going to do here, Can see that now the same thing I will generate each of this point to touch the base of this cone here. So I'll take it up here, faint line here, faint line, and here, and I'll generate them towards the center, the apex point of the triangle. See that? So in doing that now, we we'll start. I'm going to take my compass. This is zero. Here will be what? 
here also will be on the line of zero this is another zero this is one this is one this is two this is two this is three this is three this is four this is four this is five here and this is what we have uh, five here then we have six and this is also what six so at this point i'm going to place them my compass there so from c on the line of um zero i'm marking point zero you can see that so i'll come to c i've got the line of zero i'll mark zero in the right and zero in the left here right i'll go to the next zero so stay on the line of zero here right and i'll come to c on the line of zero i'll mark zero and also what zero i'll come from c i'll go to one i'll mark on the line of one one here and one here right i'll come to two come to one here also um, mark on line of one here and also one here I'll come from C to two I'll mark on the line of what of two is the line of two here I'll mark two and also two I'll come to the other two also here place on C I'll mark on the line of two also and also what two I'll come to three I'll mark on the line of three this is the line of three here I'll mark three here and also three here I'll still go to the point three here I'll mark on the line of three here and three here right I see that I'll come again from C to four I'll mark on the line of four the line of four here and then here right I'll come again to four I'll mark on the line of four and four then five I'll mark on the line of five here I'll come to five. This is five, and this is five. All right? And I'll come five here also. I'll mark on line of five too. Again, this is five. This is five here, and this is five. Then six. Place it here. Mark on six here. Then the last point here is already there, six, which is here. So I'll just join them together with my French cup. So I'll join them together with what? My French cup. So if I should join this, this is coming to this point. Right? Is coming to this point. So we have um, all of them on the same point here. To four is coming here. It's also coming here. Now we have this, and then this is coming here too. In this, in 
and we will have this and this then this right from here I will place it here this way from here from this point I will have this this way from here and from here then we have this this way from this point here oh so when I place it here we have in this Right, so I will just join from this point to this point here, and from this point to this point here. This is what we have the development of that, right? So you see, um, zero, one, two. Three, four are not touching the base of the cone. All these things you are seeing here is the base of the cone. So zero, one, two, three, four, and five also is not touching the horizontal plane here. That is why they are lifted away from it all together. So this is what we have here. This is how you develop this kind of cone. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.